All right, guys, I've got a new product here from Level Aviation. This is going to be a game changer for the airplane and the autopilot. All right, here this guy is. This is the joyous, is what Level Aviation is calling it. But uh, it is a grip with a full featured autopilot on it. But it's not just that, it also has like push to talk and uh, this little scrolly wheel to be able to change things inside of the system. And uh, it's really, really cool. I could not be more excited to be able to have it because it truly will change how I'm flying the airplane. And I'm not gonna go through the full feature set that this actually has because Level Aviation did a great job of it inside of their release video for the launch. So I'm gonna leave that down inside of the description, but goal is to get this guy installed today. So let me show you where we're at in the airplane so this all makes sense. This is initially what I was gonna go with. There's a carbon fiber nub right here, push to talk button. This guy's actually wired up. You can see right there, except for the final wiring. I need to make sure I don't have any rubbing or chafing there. But uh, I was gonna replicate that up front here until I got the joy. And uh, I am gonna have to make some modifications to this control stick to make sure that it can work. But installation of it, it's actually quite easy. Deeper in the box here, we, we take all this off. Ah, here we are. This is a little insert that I need to put in and it's got a little set screw spot and the, the, the set screws right down inside of here. The Joy-Con just kind of slides inside of there on this guy and the set screw keeps it from moving around. So like I said, I gotta, gotta cut this guy down, insert this and then put in the set screw. So pretty, pretty easy, but uh, yeah, let's get started on it. You can see that I've already cut that sheathing back to about where I want this to be able to sit. So yeah, any more than that, it's gonna be going down into that curve. We won't be able to set this in all the way. So I'm gonna mark this and get it cut down. The cut is now perfect. Next step, we gotta get a hole for this little set screw right here. So we've got to measure 20.5 millimeters down from the top of this collar to this hole and make that same hole over here on this. So uh, I'm gonna mark it using the micrometers right here, just scratch a little bit, try to center it on the front so I don't see it in flight and uh, get that done. Man, having a drill press makes this all super easy, but that is ready to go. So just gonna slide this in, making sure that hole lines up and then uh, we can put the set screw on and then add this little guy right here that will make it so that everything stays in place. Now this does get screwed all the way into the Joy-Con when it gets put in and it goes on that little lip right there and holds the Joy-Con in place. So you can actually turn this guy just to make sure that it's perfectly straight for you or at an angle if you want. So uh, yeah, next step, here we go. The kit does come with three size set screws and I'm gonna need this medium size one right here so I make sure I have enough threads for the, the nut right there. But that worked out perfectly. Next step for me is coming down here and drilling another hole right here for the wires to be coming out. So there are five wires here plus my sheathing. I'll figure out the size that I need to drill. But uh, you know, two of these are for power, one's for a push to talk, and then there's two communication ones to go directly to the eye level AP or you can connect this guy wirelessly. I'm gonna hardwire it personally, but I will show you guys how to set it up wirelessly. There we have it. It's, it's actually really cool. It's turning out super nice. And I know some of you guys are questioning the covering that I have on right here. I am going to be removing that and probably painting the control sticks on the forward and back ones. But uh, yeah, now it's just time to go get this inside of the airplane and start working on some of the wiring. There it is. Oh my goodness. That looks absolutely amazing. And yes, I do have clearance up over here. It is not hitting the control panel. So, and that is the forward position. Neutral is gonna be right about there. So flying with this is gonna be absolutely amazing. 
So the wiring on this is actually really simple, especially if you wanna just do it wirelessly. All you have to do is hook up power and then the push to talk button and you are done. So I'm gonna go over how to do that, but if you need instructions on how to hook it up further, definitely check out the documentation online because it shows you what pins go to where and how to wire up everything inside of the whole system. So uh, I'm gonna get this thing powered on and let's show you how to connect it wirelessly. Guys, also wiring stuff is pretty boring to watch. I've done it in several other videos, so I'm not I'm not going to show you exactly how I wire mine because it's different for every single airplane. Just again, follow the diagram, make sure you, you hook it up right. So configuring the Joy-Con is actually pretty easy. Once you add power to it, you'll see that the lights are going to go up and down like this. That means it's ready to configure. So all we have to do is connect to it. So I'm going to double click here, going to go to settings, and then we're going to click on the Auto Joy password for it is one two three four five six seven eight join it's really that simple now what we got to do next is come back to Google or a web browser and we have to connect to it directly and its IP address is 192.1 oh it already populated so that's 192.168.4.1. Just gonna click on it right here, and it'll bring you to this page. And then all you have to do is it says list of available Wi-Fi networks. We click the eye level AP. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna tell this guy right here to connect to that guy right up there. And as soon as it does that, hey, look at that. We get a green light right here. We have paired this wirelessly with the iLevel Autopilot. It's actually really simple to be able to set up. Now, let's make sure it works. I'm back inside of the iLevel app. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna press and hold heading and that should set the heading. There we go. If we come back up here, oh look, we are on the heading mode. If I come back down here and I hit the off button, that's right up there at the top, you can see it disconnected and turned off up here. Guys, again, there are so many features that this can do, so you definitely have to check out Level's a, a launch video to see all of the amazing features that this truly has. So that is literally it. This thing is gonna be absolutely amazing, and I'm super excited to have it, and wanna say a huge thank you to Level Aviation for providing it for us to go with the rest of the autopilot system that they put inside of here. It's gonna make flying to OSH this year super, super, easy. We're going to keep turning inside of the background, making a lot of this stuff happen. You're going to see videos pop up here and there about the different things that we're putting on the airplane, but a lot of the background wiring and things I'm just going to be doing on my own to try to save time so that we can make sure that we make it to Osh this year, 2024. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. As always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.